But I think like a size one fits you perfect. Maybe you should try it on one more time. Let's try it on for the camera. You gotta pay me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is how a Marcel Everett jacket is supposed to oh fit. Oh my god, no. It's a very, very, very yeah, tight. Oh no, you should, yeah, and you should wear it and you, let's go to Garrett. Yeah. Okay, all, all the way up, all the, oh yes, all, all, yeah, all the way up. Yeah, very oh. good, very good. Yeah, and then we go, look like a yeah. pro gopher. And, and, and then we go to Garrett. I think I just found him the next model. Gert, a uh, very important information. He fits this perfect, right? This is how a Marcel Everett jacket should fit. Very true to size and tight. And this, this <laughs> it's, it's a size one. <laughs> no, I don't think that's it. That's not the fit? No, I don't think that's it. Oh, that's not the fit? No. Oh, how come? Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> that, that's not it? Okay, okay, okay. okay. That's what golfers were. <laughs> kind of Actually, like, Loki, he was golfing earlier today. So okay. that's why he kept mentioning the golf. I'm terrible at golf. This is my, my least favorite sport, I'm believe so it or not. I, I, I hate it. So I heard I'm you were trying to take Glenn to uh, kickboxing? Oh, uh, yes, yes. I did it for six years. <coughs> oh, you did? So then I, ta much I don't much take Glenn, I take you. So it's so much fun. Oh my god, it's James. I just feel like I need a hand massage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
a version of a Tavon. So like, uh, I try to find some cool colors from the brand uh, every once in a while. And this is like one of those things that I just collect and I don't, you know, necessarily wear out too often or wear out at all. But I just want to see it in my closet because I really think in an all black and gray closet, like this really lights up the, uh, I guess the whole, the whole mood, like, you know, cause it's green. I'll say almost a backlash leather. It's almost like it's under the level of incarnation and Guidi, but it's like above the level of, um, let's say Julius leather or Rick Owens leather in general. But like, I'm not going to say like all Rick Owens leather because it's like nowadays they have like a large array of items, right? They have a large lineup. So sometimes they also use super expensive materials, but I'm saying like, you know, in, in general. Yeah, still like super nice piece. I really like the brand. I their things are very affordable, like in the secondhand market. So I will recommend people to look it up. And also like their zippers and everything are like Riri. So it's nothing less than, I guess, the other leather jacket brands. And yeah, it's a very good day pickup. I keep this. For the next item, this is something people don't think that I buy. This is from uh, Easy, I believe. It's like the Easy Adidas. Uh, what's the name of it? Like Easy 900? Easy 950? I don't actually know, but I found these shoes and I absolutely love them. Like I still remember when I was uh, at school, like the shoes that came out were like the Easy, like 700, 750s. I forgot the name, but like, it's like the mid top Easy's. And then like there's like the low top, which is like 300 or 350. Again, I don't know the name, obviously. But then like those two are like the crazy ones that like, people are like you know, flipping the price, whatever. And there's like this one that's the 900. And then like no one gives a shit about this back then. But I was like, yeah, I mean, like obviously when I was at school, like I also didn't like bother to like, you know, look into anything that looks non-sneaker. But now I saw this and I was like, this is so like underrated. And you know, like Polo love looking into like underrated stuff and I wear it and I try to bring it back, you know, make it cool again. And I guess this is definitely one of those items. I uh, highly recommend it if you can still find these in a low price. They are, uh, because I think they are like collaboration with Adidas. So I think they are a lot more like wearable than like regular military boots. So I would say like they're more comfortable. The fabric, it's also pretty durable, I think. So uh, highly recommended. I also uh, recommended this to Thai. So if you, anyone see Thai wearing this, it's uh, the polo inspiration. Now I'm just joking. <laughs> Next item, we have this uh, leather jacket from Boris Bijan Sabiri Mainline, which is basically, it's like my muse nowadays. It, like, I think it's so good, especially back around like 2015 to like 2018. I think like that's the peak of the uh, Boris Vigion Sibiri and this piece is from 2015. Also uh, back in the days I think they have like a whole series where like they have like these crazy strings lying down and like double layered. So I think I have this also in like a cotton version. I have like two in like a little bit so one in like a little bit waxed a uh, cotton version that fits like a, a like a blazer you know like a suit jacket and then like the other one the more like like a ninja like side zip jacket but it's all like the similar system the same buttons and like the same you know interior crazy lines falling down so i really do love this piece uh you can also see it maybe i started one time with like the trouble waters bullet hoodie by the way trouble waters bullet hoodie uh restocked maybe in uh, april but yeah last time it was um it was a bit crazy. We sold out a bit faster than we expected. But this time, that's why we restock. We want everyone to have the stuff. We don't want like crazy resale value. That's not important to us. But yeah, back to the main topic. This basically goes with everything. It's a beautiful jacket. And yeah, I love BBS. I'm officially in my BBS phase. Next up, it's another pair of shoes. Super nostalgic. Like this is literally like, okay, so I got basically all the Adidas Rick Owen. So just for the runners, I have like three pairs. I have like four and I sold one. So I still have three pairs. And I even bought a pair of sandals for Bianco. The Adidas Rick Owens, it's so underrated. I think it's a masterful collaboration. And I think it's just so slept on. So like th these are like not, not the runners I was talking about. I, I actually don't even know the names to these, but I, bought this before when I was in school and then uh, back then it was so expensive I got like the black on black version like then I was like like showing my mom and all that and then like I saw like the price tag and everything and I was like shit I, I kind of like felt bad because it was so expensive you know as like a Asian kid kind of thinking I guess I, I hope it's not too weird because it's basically like my first 
designer sneaker and it's like really like more and more expensive than like a regular pay off like retail price Jordans, right? I guess you know what I mean. Uh, anyways, I forgot like how everything went and then like I, I kind of like felt like a bit guilty and then we ended up uh, returning this shoe. So I never actually got to wear these out. So when I saw these again on the internet, I was like, hell yeah. Even just for like the nostalgia, I think it's worth the money. Back to my point earlier, I think all of the designs are like really cool. And uh, I guess uh, in my opinion, it's like better than the recent Rick Owen sneaker designs nowadays. Like they're just too instagrammy like influencer looking and i don't like them like these i like them because they remind me of like some 2013 like dark fit type of stuff which is like the stuff that i like so highly recommend it and guys the last pickup of the day this is the uh leather gun holster vest from julius uh don't mind the shirt underneath like this is not the recent pickup i mean like it's also oh no it's like last year this is the carp dm i don't know how to pronounce it like maybe the carp dm shirt from like uh, 2002 yeah but like these are like the gone holster vest these are like from the new permanent collection i think they are only available for order so i just went in like the office uh they gave me a discount and i ordered it it's a really beautiful piece because this is like my holy grail like I guess on like the runway they had like something similar around the 2010s and I always wanted it and then like when these are available for orders I got them I also have the one in like the uh, waxed cotton version and I have these now like in the leather version too this is just like one of the things that I love and I keep for myself I like buying stuff over and over again I have deep dip jackets the same one for like three colorways and I have like two CCP fencing jackets from the early 2000s in like same silhouette, different colorways. So I just like repeating stuff. There's not a lot of stuff that Polo likes. Like the, I hate maybe like 90% of the things that happens in the fashion scene right now. So I'm a difficult person. But when I find something I like, I get multiple copies because I love them for life and I love them from the heart. So yeah, I guess uh, that marks a good ending for today's recent pickups. And if you're wondering what's in the back, that's a 2003 fall winter uh, CCP taped shirt. But I'm not going to show you this time. I'll show you guys next time. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video is good. And uh, see you around. Bye bye. We're at a really special event. So it's a Marcel Everett. Tokyo event slash pop up slash show slash exhibition. Iron guy or like you call it rust guy if you want to. These are the jackets in collaboration with Masa Everett and Trouble Waters. So we have like a limited amount of these. We made I think around like 10 units. Currently we have like three, four left and uh, the rest we kept to bring back to Shanghai. So this is the die with 36 hours. Underneath this is the die for the 48 hours. So there's like a 24 hour version too, but as you can see like the, the color is like a little bit different. This is like a more strong color and like it actually still pretty much smells like iron. Artisanally made in our atelier in Taipei. And this is the effect. Oh, by the way, say hi to Garrett. This is my new brother. Yeah. Hi, right, guys, come over. I, I, I show you around. I say hi to James. Yeah, we're going to Shanghai too. You see, like, the other part of the video in Shanghai. So, this is like the lighter from uh, Masa Everett, obviously. It's really heavy. Beanies. Uh, the nails, which is like the motif, the design motif of them. In the back, this is like the display. Not like a gallery, but like instead of drawings, we're hanging up garments. So I think that's a cool idea. So this is a leather jacket uh, with the overall. This is the sample, so not released yet. This is the J-Cut jeans, kind of like their staple at this point. Uh, I really love this too. And then here you see it's the denim jacket that uh, we received the silhouette from for the collaboration. I've always wondered how um, this fits. Here are like the t-shirts, all the staples. Uh, you see like these two racks missing the thing because our last customer he just picked up the both of the long sleeves. The front class bombers, the, uh, the coated jackets, the shirts. Obviously, we can't miss out the Master Everett. 
the uh, nail cane uh, belt, which is the absolute classic. But maybe in the future, you guys can also see Mosso in some of the stores in Japan. My agency, Wen Yi, handling some of like the sales for Mosso in the future. So far, this event has been really good. Everyone's really happy, and the people who came here really did love it. I mean, just to look at this uh, installation. We don't see this too often in Tokyo, right? It's such a high ceiling and a basement in Aoyama. Five minute walk from Yoji Yamamoto, five minute walk from the Cohen. Out of nowhere, a rusted jacket. And... <sighs> so yeah, I'll help with the cleanup. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next part of the video. Peace.